This next move is called side steps. It's one of my favorite moves because there's a lot of movement in it and it's pretty funky. It looks like this. Pretty simple to start, but later when we revisit the move, we can create a lot more movement. Crossing over. Maybe even making a bit of a jumping movement into it. But first, the simple method. So, first, the first thing you gotta note when you're doing a side step is that you gotta remember that your weight should always be centered. So, as I'm stepping out, my weight is still centered, which means that my feet could literally hover in the air. And my weight is still right here in the center. Thing is, when you put weight out to the side and you have a weighted side step, it's not a bad dance move, but in practice, you'll find that for most songs, it's too, it's kind of harder on your knees, and it's also very energy exerting, as opposed to a non-weighted side step. So, to do the side step, first thing you gotta do is say step out with your left foot, and it's for one, on two, you're gonna bring it up kind of marching style. This is for style, so you bring it up, and you stomp down on two. So three, step out to the side. Four, bring it up and step down. So it'll be one and two, three and four. 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 Next, you want to create some movement with a side step. So as you do your side step, take a half step each time. Say forward and then back. As always, I emphasize creating movement. So with every dance move, you can create some movement. Don't worry about your hands yet. We'll cover that in a moment. So for now, you just keep them over your pockets in the home position as we work on leaning. So when you're doing the side step to give it a funky look, you want to create some leaning motion. So as you're stepping out to your left side, naturally your body will, try, will lean to your right. And you come in, you're centered, you step down, and you step with your right foot. You're gonna be leaning slightly to the left. Come back and stomp. Back. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. The more that you step out to the side, the more lean you'll have. In a club, you're gonna have to calibrate depending on the space you have. I like to step out wide if I'm dancing with someone and have some distance. Otherwise, you're tighter and smaller. Especially for tall guys, you're never gonna step out too wide because it just it takes up too much space and it's intimidating. So what, instead, you're just gonna keep it a small step to, to the side and a slight lean like this. But again, you're still gonna lift your foot up and create that marching motion. Bringing it up and stomping it down. You're not gonna stomp down on it hard, it's just an illusion. You just firmly bring it down. Again, for everyone else, actually everyone, if the song is fast, again, you're gonna do, you'll make the movement smaller. So a small step and a small lean. Next, we're gonna pace our hands. So first we're gonna do one hand only, and as you get better and you practice a few times, you can switch hands with each motion. So one hand only. First, let's say with my right hand, as you step left, you're gonna bring out your right hand like this. And then you'll throw 
a small stomach punch. As you step to the center, your hand comes in like this, kind of like you're holding a beer mug. A little small stomach punch. As you step right, bring it in. Left. Right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Some things to note is that you want to keep your stomach punch just ever so slightly small. You can see that my elbow is not leaving my body too much. You don't want to go like this. You don't want to make your movements too big yet. So just keep it small. In addition, when your hand's coming to the center, you might want to throw in a small st stomach punch forward just to keep your rhythm and it's got a bit of style to it. So it's going to be like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four from the side. Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. Two, three, four. Now with the left hand, same thing. As you step left, punching to the right, come to center with the march, you can punch forward. As you step right, three, do a small stomach punch forward, come back, center, small stomach punch forward. So one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Notice that the hand that's not pacing, in this case my right hand, is just again on my pocket in the home position as I'm pacing. Now if you want to alternate your hands then what you're gonna do is, the best thing to do is, you always pace across your body. So as you're stepping with your left foot, then your left hand is gonna pace across your body. As it comes in, you do your stomach, stomach punch, and then you're gonna switch now. Hand comes to your pocket, right hand comes up to pace, like this. Notice that when you pace with your hands, for style, it's gotta go at your feet, and your hand have to work in synchronization. So as they're both going out together, they're both coming in together. You can practice it just by going like this. Or with your left hand and left foot, like this. This is really important for style, that they both work together. So alternating our hands again. So on one, my left hand's coming out, two, Two, I'm stomping down, left hand comes in, right hand gets ready to come up. So on three, the, my hands are gonna switch like this. Right hand's gonna pace out, comes in, left, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. Now if you can throw that mini pace as you bring it in, it'll be left, punch forward, right, punch forward, left, punch forward, right, punch forward, left, punch forward, right, punch forward, left, punch forward, right, punch forward. Remember that the hand that's not punching has to go to the home position, has to go over your pocket touching it, relax. You don't want them hovering in a boxing style because now it looks like Tai Bo. So from the side, it looks like this. So let's move on to a practice and try out these moves.